Now there's a famous quote by Benjamin Franklin that goes, in this world nothing is certain but death and taxes. But it's October the 18th, 2023, and that needs to change because of this bad boy. Now, whether you embrace it or not, one thing that's certain is that mobile photography is here to stay, and it's only going to get better and better. Personally, I've not been this excited about my photography since the day I started. I'm loving getting out, taking photographs with my iPhone, compared to before when I'd have carried a lot of heavy kit that I may or may not have even used. Now, the fact that I was able to get a 72-inch print from a photograph I took with my iPhone 14 Pro Max blows me away. With the recent release of the iPhone 15 Pro Max, there are even more creative choices with it in theory having seven lenses ranging from 30 millimeters to 120 millimeters. However, the highest quality 48 megapixel RAW files are only possible using the 1X lens, the wide lens. The telephoto, ultra wide and macro don't use the highest quality 48 megapixel sensor. Now, a couple of weeks back, I had the chance to get out with the new G series range of lenses for my iPhone from Reflex, the folks who make the long exposure app Reexpose that I use all the time for creating images like this. And these are a huge upgrade from their earlier Pro lenses, engineered around the newer camera sensors, so we're talking iPhone 14 and 15, but they can still be used with older models. Oh, and they've still kept the original 17mm thread mount. They're definitely bigger than the Pro lenses with more glass, over 20% more, and I'm told they have advanced broadband coatings. So there's six new lenses in the G-Series range. A 2 times telephoto, Wide angle, macro, long range macro, fisheye, and anamorphic. But I guess the question is why, when the iPhone boasts so many lenses, would we even think of buying add on lenses? Well, for starters, it means you can stick with the 1X main lens for the full 48 megapixel highest quality, but turn it into different focal lengths optically, not digitally. You could use the macro lens and get real optical depth of field. Use it with the wide angle lenses or use it with the two times telephoto for the perfect portrait length and real optical bokeh. The iPhone 15 Pro Max has the new telephoto five times lens giving a focal range of 120 millimeters. And yes, I wanted more, but with the two times telephoto, that 120 millimeters becomes 240 millimeters. Now, in addition to the lenses, Reflex have produced a new range of filters, which just like the lens caps are magnetic, which is actually a first for the market and ultimately means no fiddling around attaching them. Now, as for the filters that are available, there's two variable neutral density filters, two to five stops and six to nine stops. There's a circular polarizer and individual neutral densities of eight, 16, 32 and 64. Now, having had time with the new G series of lenses, honestly, they are incredibly well built. Metal and glass, lots of it. And using them basically means you can produce photographs that are way beyond the iPhone's capabilities. Exciting times. So on the day this video goes live, which is the 18th of October, 2023, Reflex have launched their Kickstarter campaign for the G series lenses filters and cases, and there's up to 40% discount for super early bird rewards on a first in, first serve basis. You'll find the link you need in the description below this video. Right, that's me. I'm heading off on a road trip around North Wales and Anglesey with this and a few little additions, but I'll catch you in the next video.